A number of years ago, I, an experienced rancher from here in Oklahoma called to tell me of something that he had discovered as a way to rewarm severely cold stressed baby calves. We'd gone through one of those winters with a lot of uh, sub-freezing nighttime temperatures and a lot of moisture, and a number of his calves had been born in the situation to where when he found them the next morning, they were really quite cold. What he discovered was that the best way that he found to rewarm that baby calf was to bring it in, put it into a wash tub with about 100 degree water in that wash tub and let that calf's body warm up uh, over a short period of time in that manner. Well, nothing for me to do but to look into the scientific literature to see if there's any real evidence that this might be a method that we should consider. Actually, published back in 1988, some Canadian scientists did an experiment looking at different ways of rewarming cold stressed or hypothermic baby calves up in Canada. And they used that warm water bath as one of the ways that they uh, rewarmed those calves. The other method that they used was to wrap the calf in a, in a thermal blanket and put it under a heat lamp. They kept track of the time that it took that baby calf that had been previously cold stressed. In fact, its body temperature was clear down to 86 degrees. They kept track of the amount of time it took for that calf to rewarm up to normal, which in a baby calf is about 103. For those calves that they put in that warm water bath, again, I'm talking about a bath that's about 100 degree temperature water, it took those calves right at an hour to return to normal body temperature. Those that they put in a th under a thermal blanket with a heat lamp close by, it took those calves an hour and a half, 30 minutes longer. Now, the time frame is important, as we know and we've talked about before. We want to get those calves going, vigorous, and get some colostrum in them as soon as possible. But also, these scientists noted that the amount of energy that was expended by those calves to get their body temperature uh, back to uh, normal was quite different between the two groups. In other words, those calves that were rewarmed in that water bath, they actually were more vigorous and more willing to get up and be ready to nurse the mother than were the calves that had been warmed up uh, under the heat lamp over a longer period of time. If you happen to go out and, and observe and find a baby calf in a morning time after a really cold night, and that calf is very, very sluggish, and you think that body temperature may be way below normal, then that warm water bath is an item that you might want to consider in order to get that calf back to being vigorous as soon as possible. Remember, of course, you've got to keep the head above water. You don't want to drown the calf that you're trying to save. And remember, saving that one calf might be worth another uh, $750 by the time that he's weaned the, the following fall. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.